Hello, this will be our last video for the Ella doll tutorial. We will work on the bandana and after we finish the head with the bandana on, we can take a look on how to sew the head to the body. The bandana is worked out of bubble stitches and I will work the bandana with the same color I have worked on the shoes. So in my case, it's going to be light pink. What I do is I turn the head upside down and start working into the remaining front loops of row 9. I know it's pretty hard to see mm -hmm. them on my black color yarn, but I will guide you on how to go to my doll rattle tutorial and over there I have used green yarn and it's much easier to see this row over here. So we are going to work into the front loops of row 9, the remaining front loops of row 9. Let's start with two single crochets in the next two available stitches and then into the third one we will have a bubble stitch. To have a bubble stitch you need to yarn over, go to the next available stitch, pull the yarn, you will have three loops on your hook, pull the yarn through two loops and now yarn over again and do this for four more times. Pull the yarn through two loops, now we have three loops on our hook. Let's do this again until we have four loops on our hook and we're ready to close the bubble stitch. Now we have five loops on our hook, I'm ready to close my bubble stitch. So I pull the yarn through all the loops on my hook. I like to push the bubble on the outside. So right now, before closing my first single crochet, I will push the bubble stitch out and then finish my single crochet. This is my first and then my second single crochet over here and I continue with the bubble stitch. So this is the sequence, two single crochets and then a bubble stitch. Repeat this 12 times. Let's do one more bubble stitch over here together, so yarn over go into the next available stitch, pull the yarn, you will have three loops on your hook. Go through two loops, now pull, now yarn over, and go again through two loops on your hook, you'll have three loops. And we do this until we have five loops on our hook and we're ready to close the bubble stitch. Now we're ready to close it. And we continue with two single crochets. Before finishing the first single crochet, I need you to make sure you push the bubble stitch on the outside. So like this, push it and then I'll make it tighter and close my first single crochet. My second single crochet and now I'm ready for the next bubble stitch. How do you like it so far? If you enjoyed this tutorial, remember to support my work and hit that like button so others can hear about our work and subscribe to our channel so you know when I upload something new. Let's finish our bandana with the slip stitch. I'm gonna make a knot between the, the two yarn tails and hide the remaining yarn tails. So far so good, right? I simply adore it. It's huge next to my cotton yarn Ella doll and so soft. I'm pretty sure Anna will love it. We have one more step in order to finish our doll and that is sewing the head to the body. 
my toy is pretty big and that means it's hard to film it so that you can see it all but let's give it a try and start sewing it together I will use acrylic yarn I told you I do not like to work with I do not like to sew with velvet yarn and this is the reason I will use acrylic to sew the head on the body I will start sewing and also having in mind not to have the head too wobbly so in case I need it I will have to strengthen my sewing and maybe go a couple of times more so that the head is not wobbly I do not use wire for my Ella doll if you are more com comfortable with using wire you can go ahead and use it If you need to add more stuffing to the body, now is the time to do so before finishing sewing the head on the body. Now that I have finished sewing, I can make a knot between the two remaining yarn tails and hide the yarn tail. And voila, my Ella doll is ready. Really soft and pretty big. I must say I'm excited about it. Probably I'm excited about all of my toys, but anyhow. I wanted to thank you for being part to my creative process. And hopefully you're excited about your Ella doll as well. I will wait for you on our next ones. Bye.